The Scarlet at Kylum we see in Kingdom Hearts Missing Link does not look the same as the Scarlet at Kylum we see in Kingdom Hearts 3 or even Kingdom Hearts Dark Road. But why exactly is that? Is the next potential conflict in Kingdom Hearts Missing Link the cause for a potential rebuild and redesign to the modern day Scarlet at Kylum? Welcome back everyone, this is your girl Empowered Muse and today we're going to talk about just what might have happened to the Scarlet at Kylum from Kingdom Hearts Missing Link, which had a more Victorian architecture and design, and why the modern day Scala at Kylum that we saw in both Kingdom Hearts 3 and Kingdom Hearts Dark Road doesn't look anything like its Victorian era counterpart. But it does seem in the Kingdom Hearts universe that whenever a world undergoes a major change in its design, something integral to the story took place that caused that world to shift. So with that in mind, is it possible that something quite dark happened to Scala at Kylum during the era of Missing Link that resulted in it having to be rebuilt once again? What exactly happened in that missing era and did it lead to getting rid of that divide between the Society of Successors and the Society of Non-Successors? It could be that something like a Willful Darkness or even a Vessel of Darkness brought about more ruin than that world initially prepared for, especially if the world of Scala at Kylum itself was a fairly young world. But it could actually be the case that the conflict that occurred in the world of Scala at Kylum was one that took place once again between Keylight Wielders, at least at first. Especially because there seemed to be more to explore in the Book of Prophecies, specifically regarding when darkness would prevail and light would expire, that's revealed by the player character after they lived out their life and moved to take in Xehanort under their wing in the Destiny Islands. However, it's not fully clear whether the major conflict will actually take place between the Society of Successors and the Society of Non-Successors, and while there is a good chance that frictions will take place between the two groups, especially if the Society of Successors consists of those at a higher and more privileged class. But there could also be a chance that one or both of these societies wind up being scapegoats for a new presence of darkness that comes into Scala at Kylum. But once again, the world may collapse under the strain of what's likely another battle between light and darkness, perhaps even another form of a Keyblade War. So the world and structure that used to exist in Scala at Kylum during the era of Missing Link likely fell due to a war or major conflict and thus had to be reconstructed once more before the story of Dark Road took place. And perhaps this conflict didn't take place in the middle of the Missing Link story, but perhaps it was foreshadowed throughout and therefore was the cause of the infant Xehanort to be taken from Scala at Kylum and raised on the Destiny Islands. Whatever conflict occurred in Scala at Kylum and whether it affected how the societies were split may not be observed until towards the end of the story of Missing Link. The Scala at Kylum definitely underwent a major shift during this missing era and will probably get more answers closer to the end of Missing Link as opposed to the beginning. But let me know in the comments below, do you think a major war or conflict caused the destruction and later reconstruction of, of Scala at Kylum during the era of Missing Link. If you want to explore some more Kingdom Hearts theories, I'll be linking another Kingdom Hearts theory video here in the end screen. And as always, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel if you enjoyed this video and want to watch more Kingdom Hearts content. And if there's anyone who may have questions about what to expect for the upcoming Kingdom Hearts games, be sure to share this video. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.